guys this is jk here back with another video and this is going to be such a useful trick in premiere pro and those of you who are wondering why premiere pro is crashing automatically here are some fixes that you can possibly do in order to uh, fix uh, your premiere pro from crashing so the first thing that we are going to see is go to file and go to project settings and then general so here you can uh, see the option for renderer you have to choose uh, mercury playback engine software only unless and until uh, if you are using uh, some complex overlays like this uh, some motion graphic templates uh, for this uh, we can take the out at, in the final stage and during it it will uh, render fine so during playback it won't play fine but that's okay for now because what we are going to do is when you change this to uh, from gpu acceleration to playback engine software only it will not use your gpu anymore it will use only your uh, cpu to just render the things out so if you are having a decent graphics card like uh, gtx 1060 or 1050 and above then you can enable this mercury playback engine gpu acceleration otherwise if you are having a low end graphics card just go ahead with render using software only so this is the first step you have to do and the second step is just to go to uh, preferences central just go here and just go and click memory in this memory if you are having at least 16 gig gb of uh, ram in your pc then you have to allocate at least 6 to 8 gigs for premiere pro if you are having premiere pro photoshop illustrator like that and you can open only two softwares because when you open chrome as well as premiere pro as well as illustrator your pc will hang so if you are having 8 gigs of ram in your pc most probably laptop users will be having only 8 gb of ram so what you could do is uh, you can possibly set it to 4 gigs for this premiere pro so that it could work fine and optimize rendering for just keep it in performance that's it this is the second step just allocate uh, more gb of ram for this premiere pro so that it won't crash with insufficient memory and uh, the third thing is your media kk files uh, so it can be deleted in two ways the first thing is just go to uh, preferences general it will take you and there is a folder called media kk just go ahead and just hit delete unused it will delete the unused thing and it is having also a media kk management here uh, and in the in these three options uh, you can select whichever you want uh, automatically delete the catch files older than 90 days uh, i'm not going to select uh, this do not delete catch files automatically because what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete it manually and uh, the way to do in manual way is just go to your windows this pc and your c drive and then your users and then your case on c your username so my username is keshavan is that your username could be different just go ahead into it and uh, the thing which i am going to tell you now uh, will be hidden uh, you have to just go to view and then you have to click this box right here to show the hidden items so it will uh, reveal the hidden items go ahead to the app data open it and go to roaming and here you can see a folder right on the top named adobe just open it go to common so just screenshot this particular directory so that you can go and you can delete it uh, every day just go to this media cake files there are two things one is media cake and the second is media catch files both files should be deleted these are all the temporary files created once you close the premiere pro or once you are going to open the premiere pro before opening or before uh, 
like starting any new project you have to delete this but while deleting your premiere pro should not be turned on these two folders you have to go to these two folders i am going to send these two to desktop shortcuts right uh, send it to desktop as a uh, shortcut so now we have sent these two folders to uh, desktop as shortcuts so here is one uh, where's the other i am going to place this near my games folder so that you can see it visibly these are the two files so whenever you are starting your day like you have to edit your videos to so these folders just go into the contents of it and delete it manually just control and then just shift delete it will delete the items can you see are you sure you want to permanently delete these 2103 items that's huge so just delete it delete the contents inside this so these are the three steps you can do in order to fix your premiere pro from crashing if you have a low end pc just make sure to do it in your pc test this out and just comment below what kind of results you are getting how your cpu is performing the task just let me know if this trick helps you and we will be seeing soon some awesome tricks of premiere pro until then it's bye from jk signing off thank you